Wow. So ooh, this is tough. Free yourself. You deserve love and love yourself first. How much about? So this is what's happening. Yeah. Forgiving and learning. Wow. This is a lot about this. This is a lot about the commitment and making this decision about what you want. If this person, someone's really in this, like, if this person isn't going to make a decision, then look at all this energy about this is what I'm doing. And I'm, I think that's what I'm picking up on a person who there's a triggering energy of this isn't going anywhere and I'm going to make a decision. So here we have forgiving and learning though. And in this case, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And I feel like this is about releasing a certain for some of you it could be a belief system I feel um there is an attachment here of something needs to go a certain way and the forgiving and learning um I think once the information is internally processed then then this will happen within the connection yep guys look at this soulmate let go of control issue and chemistry I mean it's if you're at this stand at this space with your person this is, this is a bond that is going to be hard to break in this very moment, right? You're not going to be able to be like, that's it, disconnect, we're done. You know, if you're at a position of, are we going to get married? Are we going to make this long term? Um, if you're in this place where you've spent a lot of time with your person, at this point, this is already more than a year with your person and maybe two, three years, maybe longer for some of you, that doesn't the, the chemistry is still there that the energy is still going to be existent right so you guys will have another conversation it's forgiving and learning conversation and dialogue will come in the let go of control issue is all of this this need to know right now and this, i don't feel that that is yet in the forefront you know about what is understood yet which is why i'm feeling like you guys are getting information still and trying to navigate your own emotions and this is going to happen for the both of you so let's see what happens here let's see what else i get for this energy libra chakra and there goes the foundation so this is a root right this is um someone again that root so the root is being activated right there's a need for stability when our root chakra is is because all of a sudden there is the, this communication of not having a foundation and when we're this is where the the timing is here where um someone's definitely in this space of is this happening right and it's not that I'm not, your emotions may be or everyone's emotions are valid to be experienced but we also have to um you know get more of an understanding and i feel oh yep this three of cups rejoice and celebration i feel three is empress energy um so there's information i also feel spiritual guidance with this and I also feel that in the right time, this conversation, you guys will go out and will gather again and talk about it because at that point, it's when you guys can fertilize it. Once the communication is, is understood, um, you guys have more of an idea. That's where you guys will get more of an understanding. And then we have trapped in fear because of course, you know, this it's the not knowing and, and it, it doesn't mean that right trapped in fear and here's the nine of pentacles i'm just gonna make myself single so there's that entrapment of wanting to just go for on your own but it's also my god i've been with my person for so long and i thought this was the direction it was going to lead to do i really want to be on my own do i really want to start over do i want to do i really want to rebuild with someone else do i really want to go through that so at this moment this is why it's not really a full decision yet we do have three of swords and yeah the third eye to me is the mirroring so this is on both ends and again the three you both are feeling this um so 
Ooh, these readings have been tough. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else we've got here. Give me one of the base chakra here. Sorry, what is this? You know, that root again, reestablishing. Yep. And it's like, do nine of wands, right? Trials, you've, it's already, you put so much effort. Nine of wands is the effort, the trials and tribulations is the effort already rooting this, creating this, investing in it. This was the foundation that was supposed to be. Um, and, you know, Knight of Swords is, is like judgment. So this is a judgment call, right? But I really feel spirit is saying with this Knight of Swords, don't make a quick unexpected decision that not knowing. So there's, there's clarity needed with judgment, right? Yes, you want to make the judgment call. Um, for some of you, maybe the judgment call is to just do it, right? But I really feel some of you are still processing. We're still processing. So that's what's valid until you get more clear. Okay, so let's see this Four of Wands. Yeah. Four of Wands with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, and Six of Swords making that decision to move away. It's the battle of do we drop this? Do I walk away? I'm tired of not knowing. Um, you know, this is, an in, this is truly an internal, a soul battle. I mean, we got so much Wands here. Fire signs, you guys can be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but definitely... Um, this is an internal battle because the wands are the soul. So let's see this rejoice and celebration. We have six of wands, the three of swords and the ace of pentacles. Yeah. So this is the, the reconnection, right? Where you guys eventually two threes. And remember I said, we already saw here the three of swords. You both are feeling this. The separation is definitely making you guys feel the connection. There is recognition of, of what's being experienced separately. And here with the Six of Wands, and again, more soul. More of this, it's an, like I said, it's, this is an internal thing. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles starting again. So this is not yet resolved, right? Like I said, this is for people who have been with their person for some time. You, this this is not um for some of you this is not a door that's necessarily closed and i feel like this is like fresh energy like you guys recently wow three of swords showing up again i mean three of wands so more three so three 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 is important and three 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 is protection you guys like i said air signs have been showing a lot of protection and I feel the protection that's happening here, and I'm going to put it here because I really do feel this strongly, is, is for internal information, you know, for, to get a better understanding. Okay, we're just trapped in fear. And this is the indecisiveness I feel with this trapped in fear. Okay, we're on this Eight of Swords. More on the Eight of Swords. I'm going to put one more. That was the tower in the bottom that I looked at, but yeah. One state of sorts. Drop in fear. So four of swords. A lot of settling in alone, right? But the main energy that came out was the sun, right? So again, it's the decision, not knowing what to do. So the clarity is gonna happen. The sun, it's an understanding and illumination. Um, here with the Page of Wands, I feel the clarity will happen when the communication comes in, when you guys actually talk. That's where the forgiving and learning. The sun is also is also healing. So it's also part of when the, the conversation, the forgiving and learning, the understanding also happens. All the illumination and the conversation, healing of the communication, getting an understanding. Um... And then also the the things that are happening even in your quiet time, Four of Swords, right? Where we're undergoing, right? The lovers, there you go, decision. What decisions are you guys gonna make? This connection is, you know, you, this is an invested connection. There's a lot of time and energy spent. Give me more this Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. 
we have the fortune and the two of swords again decision and this is why you still feel blocked libra because it's only a matter of time this is divine timing wheel of fortune so it's going to need some patience two of swords because the truth is you do you really want to start over it's this two of swords not knowing like mentally struggling whether you really want to free yourself and just move on or give this another go and again because this is a lot of understanding that's still happening internally and i also like i'm telling you guys this is mutual i do feel you both are still going to talk about things yeah you miss each other look at the hierophant six of cups ten of cups in the bottom this is long term you know this is understanding that's getting that's coming out so what is the message of guidance for libra please what is the message of guidance saw this but i'm not taking all of these i knew that six of cups i saw that six of cups and there goes that ten of cups again you guys so basically yes they're missing each other's back so you miss your person king of pentacles you guys could be dealing with um a leo as well you've got here um strong leo but another another sign taurus um virgo capricorn you're you're you miss your person this is too this has gone too long and you know the loyalty is still there right it's still there it doesn't mean like i said it's not gonna this energy it may be a sudden feeling but it's not gonna change those those transitions take a long time to happen it doesn't happen overnight you know you're not gonna be like let's say i set myself free tomorrow you're out there looking for a new person it's not gonna work like that so as much as you know you're disappointed four of cups not knowing what to do four of swords back with a decision you know that this is this is still pending this is still unresolved and you are still trying to feel things out with this four of swords you know and, and figuring it out along the way as well um as your person is as well so let's see what the blockages are for this connection spirit what are the blockages yep light and dark you can't know light without darkness and usually light and dark when it comes to two souls um you both are each other's light and darkness and this is why when um long-term relationships like these are two people who've been together there's so much um to balance out this is the duality of the lessons together and that's why it's it's not going to be an, an easy takeaway right this is why i'm saying this this chemistry it's still a connection because of all of the experiences that has happened. So this is where the forgiving and learning, because it's like, there's almost like there, there, I feel like a like point of where there will be an appreciation of the, of the lessons as well. So we have say no, no is a full sentence. Stop explaining. And this as a blockage as well, this is probably where you finally said no, like maybe the, the ongoing conversation was an exhaustion. So you just at a point where you don't want to talk anymore, which is why all this strong energy of love yourself first, you free yourself, you deserve love. It's so firm that you're just at a, a full no at the moment. But I also feel like there's a lot that is going to be shown. And I do want to point out the bottom here, which is evolution. You're no longer that person. So individually, you both are also evolving, which I think when the conversation happens, you might feel different as well. And then you'll learn to appreciate the balance, the dualities of the light and the dark that has has um, switched over time, right? like it's um uh alternated between the two of you where sometimes one was the light and someone was the dark and sometimes one was the dark and the other one was the light and so this was all part of that evolution you are no longer the person of, of who you're becoming even in this this moment of figuring things out so let's see what the untold message of the heart is what is the untold message of the heart of this person spirit what is the untold message of the heart for Libra's person guilt hurting you was never my intentions but now it's hurting me too like i said you both are hurting right the three of cups three of swords there's 
there's a mutual forgiving and learning. The separation is not taken lightly. It's not. Let's see what else. All right, I'll take these. So some of you are selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. Here we go again. I think it's just someone feels someone selfish, right? It's like, this is the commitment issue. It's like, what are we doing? Where are we going? And someone's like, at the moment, right? I can't right now. And again, it's just the back and forth. The planning. I know that I want you in my future. I'm working on making the proper plans. Yes, this will happen. And then something or someone is standing in between us right now. And I think it's just the ways of being. So there's the mountain right now is to get the understanding. The planning will take place once the resolution is. But there is hurt. You know, the separation is affecting the both of you. What else? This untold message of hurt. What else? I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I said to you. I didn't mean them. Yeah, there's a lot of guilt for sure. I, If I come back to you now, I would just hurt you even more. So again, there's the understanding that we're, we're talking about, right? I know that we have unfinished business to take care of, but I have family issues that I need to clear first. For some of you, this is, this is you know, inner child stuff. Um, maybe for some of you this was a blockage maybe um third party interference has to do with family um maybe this person put family first but again i all i what i feel like the main energy here is i know that we have unfinished business to take care of also maybe you guys already share children together right a family because we're talking about long term so you probably some of you still see your person right like when they pick up the kids or whatever the case or when you drop off the kids um whatever the case may be um i feel so lost without you i'm heart i'm heartbroken over you yeah we saw three of swords right the heart heartache and loss this is definitely you know three of swords here it's definitely mutual and i miss you so much i wish i could tell you guys so this is felt this is definitely felt all right, so what is the message and guidance for Libra? We have go for it. Action, action, action. Make it happen and, and take this opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now. I feel like at this point, the action that's needed, um, if you're going to have this, this time to think, Libra, then, you know, Take the opportunity to get the understanding you need. And that's the action I feel, the guidance and the action that Spirit is showing right now. There is things that you can do that, um, in all honesty, if you look at it this way, it really just adds value to the relationship if you guys do rekindle things. And either way, it adds value to you if you decide to stay as this Nine of Pentacles energy, right? The decision that we're having, like which way we're going to go. So either way, you have to create this um, stability within yourself. Um, I feel emotionally and physically. So like that when the time comes to really have this conversation, you're going to feel very stable to even make a decision either way. So, all right, Spirit, thank you. Fire. So again, you guys could be dealing with strong fire because we had a lot of wands energy and again, strong Leo. So someone who is passionate, fearless, and exuberant. And then support. I told you I could. Gemini, um, I think it was Gemini. One of the air signs. It doesn't even matter, you guys. 22 could be important to you guys. But the support, this is to this is really the air signs are going through some test and there is support and guidance that's happening for you internally to to get through something so you do not have to face everything alone accept help or support from others and i really do feel your there is help and support and they might even show you support through people through um uh for some of you through um maybe even changes of jobs or something that can happen in other ways that help you shift your energy because remember the universe is always assisting us to help us navigate through what we're processing so it might temporarily take away something but it might give us something on the other end and it again it will create the stability that i'm talking about 
where it's gonna you know you're gonna be able to know what you're gonna need to do and that's how your support team helps you on the other side so <sighs> libra i'm gonna leave it here please like share subscribe